Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, those joining us are our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, as the summer is here and the CDC has been easing the guidelines, people are not only moving around more when it comes to flying, but also resuming sea travel as well. For those of you who are looking to be able to explore the open ocean again, the wait is over for you guys, but there are some things you need to be aware of. We're here to help us with that. We're excited to welcome travel expert Eileen Ogents to our program to talk to us not only about the safety measures that are in place, but also where you guys may be able to find some great deals as well. Eileen, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, sir. So, Eileen, as I mentioned, you know, people are excited to be able to travel again, but they definitely want to know how to prepare. What are some of the safety precautions, Eileen, that you're hearing about that are in place when it comes to cruising? Well, the biggest thing is uh, vaccination. Uh, The CDC has said if you want to cruise, um, has told the cruise industry 95% of passengers and crew need to be vaccinated. And they've also said that... um, they urge that if people aren't vaccinated, they wait till they're fully vaccinated to cruise because if you were to get sick, you get far less sick than than otherwise. And yeah. people can rest assured the cruise industry has put in all of these uh, extra protocols, you know, uh, air filtration, servers at the buffets, extra cleaning, anything uh, and everything to help you feel safe. So exciting that we're we're able to get back cruising, like to Alaska, for example, this this summer. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I'm just going to ask you. I mean, from what you're you're seeing, I mean, as far as looking at the travel industry in particular, when it comes to to cruising, are you seeing there to be excitement about it being back and people being having the opportunity to be able to travel again on the water? Oh yeah, tremendous excitement. Um, when Carnival's new ship, Mardi Gras, came into um, Fort Lauderdale. There was a huge crowd waiting. <clears throat> and for those of your listeners who want to be the first on the new ship, Mardi Gras is going to have the uh, ultimate sea coaster, the first big roller coaster at sea, and uh, huge, uh, you know, uh, suites for people, uh, more than 20 more than 20 uh, places to eat and drink. Um, on Princess this fall, you'll be able to go to the Panama Canal or Hawaii, as well as the Caribbean, and they'll have uh, this touchless, truly touchless system that you can do everything from embark to disembark to pay to find your kids on board still keeping socially distant with your wearable device, you know, which is yeah. really great. And for those that are fans of kind of traditional cruising, Holland America is going to, besides the Caribbean, they're going to have 40 cruises starting this fall from uh, San Diego. And this is a great place to listen to live music, whether you're a fan of classical music, like from Lincoln Center or jazz. Uh, having cultural immersion on board with uh, cooking demonstrations and uh, multimedia shows. So there's really a lot to look forward to for for people, whether you're a novice cruiser or pre-pandemic, you cruised every year. Right, right. Eileen, what about deals? Uh, Do you have any tips where our audience can go to be able to find some of those travel deals? Right, um, well, first of all, just look for value-added amenities right now. You know, free drink packages, free specialty dining, uh, cabin upgrades. And work with a travel agent who's a cruise expert because they'll be able to get you the best deals. I would also say to follow cruise lines you might want to cruise um, on social because then that's where they often announce their news. 
And if you're thinking about a holiday cruise, I would book now because there's a lot of pent up demand out there. Um, cruise critics, <laughs> so uh, ships are going to get full very quickly. Well, it's great for our audience to keep in mind. Again, everyone, Eileen Ogens has been our guest. She's a travel expert, letting you guys know how you can be able to not only to enjoy life back on, on the water, enjoying your, your cruising this year, but also, of course, ways that you can be able to start early in making those plans. Eileen, where can our audience go for more information? Uh, my website, takingthekids.com. Uh, you'll find plenty there. Awesome. Eileen, thank you so much for, for getting us ready for this time of year and looking forward to having you back on the show again. Sure, any time, and happy travels. Hey, happy travels to you as well, Eileen. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>